the balcony balconies. How you guys doing tonight? That's what I thought. Hey, we have a great show for you guys tonight. You're going to love it. We have Bane Gibby. Bane Gibby is here. We also have the music of Sean Monday. And we have a great. Sorry, that's uh, Hezekiah, the Amish streaker. <laughs> anyway, we have a great title sponsor due to a generous donation from Rosalie Wooten. Our title sponsor is Ozark Greenways. Check out this video. Hi, I'm Jeff Houghton for Ozark Greenways, along with our new mascot, Ozzy the Bear. Ozark Greenways has tremendous benefits for our fair city, and many people wonder how they can help to make it grow. Number one, we grow through land acquisition. Do you have land you'd like to donate or know someone who does? Number two, we offer memberships for those who really want to help. And number three, just get out there and enjoy the trails by yourself or with your family. We love to see smiles on children's faces. What? Ozzy! Ozzy, no! That's the opposite of what we'll be able to do. Ozzy, time out. Ozzy, that's strike number two. Ozark Greenway is a very good time. Yeah, okay, well that bear has one strike left. <clears throat> yeah. To recap, uh, they, there's a sponsor and we made them a bad spokesperson that steals candy from babies. <laughs> Hey, it's, uh, it's, the, it's almost the end of the season here, and, and we have a bunch of great writers for the show, and they, they help with, with, with a ton of stuff. And uh, I go through, and they, they give me things I've noticed, and I, I go through and select the ones I want. But then sometimes they're like, you didn't select this one. So at the end of the season, we give them a chance to do their rejected things I've noticed. So first up, we have Sarah Jenkins doing her favorite rejected things I've noticed. noticed that liquor stores in ghost towns must sell a lot of booze. <laughs> All right, next up we have Josh Willis. I've noticed that what I'm looking forward to the most this summer is getting to tell kids their favorite stores now toys are gone. <laughs> it's the same guy, it's the streaker. Next up, Chad Harris. I've noticed on the highways there are a lot of semi trucks, but rarely any final trucks. Next up, Chance Nichols. I've noticed that I should hold a clothing drive for cartoon animals because they seem to only ever wear shirts. Yep. Yeah. And finally, Michelle Houghton. I've noticed that when you ask me what my favorite TV show is, you're just gonna spend all your time telling me what yours are and why I should watch them. There we go, that's things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. Hey, guess what? We're starting a game. Uh, and what's your name, sir? I am Matthew. I am Jeff. Thank you for joining me. What do you do, Matthew? I am a student at Kickapoo High School. How old are you? 18. Good, so you could sign your release by yourself. Okay. All right, Matthew, you're playing America's favorite game. What does Gnorm say? All right, Gnorm was uh, my grandmother, and she used to play this game. And now we have people maybe even better. Sarah Jenkins is one of our writers. It's her parents, Lin Lynette and John Jenkins over here. They're in the studio. Check them out over there in the studio. There they are in the studio. 
So Matt, what's going to happen here is they're going to read to you lyrics of popular songs, and you have to identify what the song is, okay? Do you know popular songs? Yeah. Perfect. All right, first one is John. Let's hear it. No, my baby, don't play. Bla blame it on my confidence. Oh, blame it on your measurement. Shut that ish down on sight. That's right. All right, Matthew, give me, the, give me the name of the artist or the song. I have no idea. But that would be my favorite version. <laughs> Wrong. Bruno Mars, Finesse. You know that song, right? Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. You get another chance. Lynette, let's hear it. Havana, ooh, na na. Half of my heart is in Havana, ooh, na na. He took me back to East Atlanta, na na na. Oh, but my heart is in Havana. There's something about his manners. Havana, ooh, na na. <laughs> they work out little things that they do. Uh, watch the other person. <laughs> OK. All right, uh, Matt, tell me the name of that song or the artist. Havana, ooh, na na. Good enough, just Havana, but good enough. All right. <laughs> All right, John, let's go back to you. Oh. Am I coming out of left field? Oh, woo, I'm a rebel just for kicks. <laughs> now, I've been feeling it since 1966. <laughs> now, might be over now, but I feel it still. All right, all right, Matt, what's that song? Feel It. Feel Still by Portugal, the man. Congratulations, all right. When I was in high school, I knew like a lot of the songs and stuff. Yeah, I'm just not a musical person, man. All right, let's see if we get this one. Lynette, let's hear it. Baby, why don't you meet me in the middle? I'm losing my mind just a little. So why don't you just meet me in the middle? In the middle. <laughs> Flirtatious. All right, what do you think, Matt? Something about the middle. <laughs> yeah, you said it, the middle, by Zed. Very good. You've got two correct. All right, all right, we have one left. Here we go, for all the marbles, John. Thunder, feel the thunder. <laughs> Lightning and the thunder. Thunder, thunder, feel the thunder. <laughs> Lightning and the thunder. Thunder, thunder, feel the thunder. <laughs> Lightning and the thunder, thunder. Thunder. <laughs> Feel the thunder. Lightning and the thunder, thunder. <laughs> All right, Matt, I'm going to give you a hint. It's just one word for the title. It's not lightning. Thunder. Thunder is correct. Congratulations, Matt. That's what is Gene I'm saying. We'll be right back. There they are, John and Lynette. That comedy bit brought to you by Bush, Ramlow, and Shore CPAs, accountants, funny. Set design and construction brought to you by Elamus, Digital Quill Studio, and Skinny Theatrical Design and Fabrication. <laughs> Guest booking provided by Gig Salad. Additional sponsorship provided by Big Whiskey's official American restaurant and bar of the Mystery Hour. Yeah. 
Welcome back, everybody. Man, we have a great guest. We also have a great guest sponsor. Pa! Pa! <laughs> the pa knob was a little off. History Museum on the Square. It's on the square because it's not square. It's the coolest. <laughs> I'd say I've done better on those, but I haven't. No clue what their actual slogan is. All right, our guest tonight, you've seen her on Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, on The Comeback. You've seen her on Lady Bird, all sorts of great movies and TV shows. You're going to love her. Please put your hands together for Bane Gibby. Bane! <laughs> Hi, babe. Hi. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. That dress is lovely. Thank you. I got it just for tonight. Yeah. You got a dress just for us? Yes. Thank you. Yes. It's the finale. It is. Almost. It's the finale taping. It's finale taping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're the finale Eve. OK. <laughs> so Bane, uh, first off, yes. what is your name? Where does that come from? <laughs> um, it's a family name. Yeah. Um, I go by Bain, but mm -hmm. my middle name is actually Bainton. My first name is Rebecca. My middle name is Bainton, but I've always gone by Bain. Yeah. And it was um, on my family tree, yeah. and my parents just really liked it. Yeah. yeah. So jumping ahead several yes, years. Yes, several years. Lady Bird. Yes. Huge hit. Yes. Huge hit, and just like critically acclaimed, yes. and also just people that uh, moviegoers loved it as well. Yes. Did you know when, when you were auditioning, when you saw the script, you are like, did you know it was going to be something special? Or no, no. The thing about when you audition for a movie, this movie didn't have distribution yet. Yeah. So you hope that it's going to be something that would be nominated for an Oscar. But you kind of go in going, well, maybe it'll go to DVD. Maybe it'll play at like three theaters, and my mom yeah. will get to see it you know, yeah. or something like that. Um, but um, what was just an amazing surprise, because it was actually my very first movie. Oh, is that right? Yeah, it was my very first movie, um, which was, yeah. Let me ask you this, because you've done, you've done a bunch of TV. I've done a lot of TV, and I just, I kept auditioning for movies yeah. and not getting them, and I kind of had it on this list of, you know, this year yeah. I'm going to have a memorable scene in a movie. That yeah. Was, that was my goal. You really wrote that down? I really wrote it down. Wow. And I, I put it on my, my little bulletin board of like this I'm gonna do this this year and you have a bulletin board of goals? Yes. That's good. Yes. It's a vision board. <laughs> it's it sounds really dorky. Don't shame me. It it really works. No, so I you, love that you stuff. You put yeah. down your goals and you put them in a place well, when guests come, you put it away because <laughs> you feel embarrassed. You sound both <laughs> proud and ashamed. I, 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 yeah, there's yeah. a fine line. Um, because I actually had it out once, and uh, it was when Glee was on, and, and I had Glee on there, and my friend was like, you're never going to get on Glee. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like shaming me for my vision board. Some so, friend. Yeah, right? We're not friends anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> really not. Um, so <laughs> It's true. No, really, 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 <laughs> really, really, really. But um, yeah, write down things so that you kind of see it every day, and it kind of yeah. goes in your mind. And then, you know, uh, and it's cool, like a year or so later, to look back and see, you know, what actually came to fruition. Yeah, that's really. That I, I feel like for me, I'd be like, um, none of this is going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to be disappointed at the end of the year. You have to think positively. There are things that that I'm like, well, let's bump that to 2019. You know, like yeah, things yeah. just get bumped. Oh, you just bump it. You just bump it. Yeah. So what was the difference, how, was there a different experience filming a movie as opposed to a TV show? Because a single cam TV show, I imagine, feels similar, but it's, did it's, you notice a difference? It was, it was really similar. Um, there's just a lot, uh, it takes a lot longer. Mm -hmm. So the scene in the movie is probably only, you know, a handful of minutes. Yeah. But I was there for probably 14 or 15 hours um, because they have to shoot so much coverage, and there were all these, um, I don't know, who's seen Lady Bird? Have you guys seen Lady Bird? Yeah. So um, the scene is where I'm talking to all the students, and when the camera was just on me, they had maybe four or five students in the stands, but then when they were starting to turn around, then they had 
about a oh, hundred yeah. students come in and they had to get reactions from you know all the different faces in the audience so that just is really time consuming but of course I was loving it and I didn't want to, you know, at the end of the day, they're like, oh, and you're done. I'm like, are you sure? There's nothing else you need. <laughs> I could <laughs> stay. <laughs> but it was just so fun. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah, it's so much fun. But then at the end of the day, um, because you're in one scene, yeah. you don't know if you're going to make the cut right. in the end. Right. So I think every actor has had this experience where you're going to be on something and you tell everyone you've ever met in your entire life, including like the barista, you know, like, hey, watch Parks and Rec tonight, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna be on it, it's and gonna be amazing. She, the barista's like, that's too long that's, to write that's on not here. That's your name, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then you're, this happens all the time, scenes get cut for reasons out of your control, the timing, or mm -hmm. they just, it ran long, or, you know, whatever. And then you field about 100 texts and phone calls going, were you the one in the line for the hot dog behind the tree? You know, you're like, no, that, that, no, my scene was cut. And it's yeah. really, a really horrible experience to have to explain to people that it's not because I was terrible, things just get cut. Yeah. And so now you sort of err on the side of being careful. So when right. the movie came out, um, it went to a festival first in Telluride. And I was literally like messaging people saying, so, Am I in the movie? <laughs> you know, how, yeah. first, how is the movie, and secondly, did, did am I in me? it? Did you see me? Someone who looked like me. Yeah. Um, so then, once I found out I was, my scene was left in, then I could really, you know, relax. But there's always that fear as sort of a um, peripheral character that you might get cut for time or something like yeah, that. Right. Yeah, right. Do you? Um, did you tell anyone that you were coming on the Mystery Hour? Um, not yet, because I was worried I'd get cut. Yeah. <laughs> Because it hurts. <laughs> it may still happen. We don't know how oh this God, is going to Oh, God, i got to watch myself. Anything, anything can happen on the mystery hour. Anything can happen on the mystery hour. <laughs> so, uh, now, you, you also do a lot, of, a lot of improv. I do improv. And has that, I imagine, has that, has that helped you? Because you, you, you have such a, a good acting background, but then you've kind of come to improv as well. Yeah. Do you, does that help inform your acting? Yeah, because... You, it, it helps you sort of um, let things go. And the, you know, there's all kinds of crazy things that can happen even um, when you're auditioning that yeah. you can't plan for. Like you would not believe, you know, sometimes the casting director has a dog, you know, and as you're trying to do some like really dramatic scene, <laughs> it was my daughter. It was my daughter. You know, so there's like a dog running around, you know, at your feet, and you're like, come on, man. And so it, it helps you just sort of go with the flow and know yeah. that anything can happen, and, and whatever happens, um, you have to sort of go with it because trying to sort of control everything doesn't work. Does never work. Well, let's practice that because okay, we, we have to end the interview. Okay. So we'll just have to go with it. We'll go with it. There's Ben Gibby. <laughs> We'll be back with Sean Monday. <laughs> Guest travel and accommodations provided by Hotel Vandevoort. Systematic Savings Bank, official bank of the mystery hour. Papo's Pizzeria and Pub, official pizza joint of the mystery hour. Tonight's musical guest brought to you by Bear Village. You guys are going to enjoy this. Here he is, Sean Monday. Thank you. 
for the fun Someone that fortune and fame But when it's all said and done You're gonna know I can Well, it ain't easy, baby Oh, but it ain't my choice to choose Since I know I'm gonna keep on playing, baby Cause you know I just can't lose Since I know I just can't lose, hey, yeah Need no lucky number, baby. Cause I was born to win. Cause it ain't neither, baby. No, no, no. But it ain't my choice to choose. Such a know I'm gonna keep on playing, baby. Cause you know I just can't lose. Since you know I just can't lose.